Hi, everybody. It's Tatiana. It has been so long <laughs> since I have recorded a video. I have just been completely in a slump. I have not recorded a video since I finished and reviewed Rose Matter, which was in November. So, yeah, I uploaded that in December when I got back from my little vacay, but I have not recorded a video since probably before Thanksgiving. So, I guess I should say, Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year! <laughs> How is everybody doing? Um, I am today going to just do my November and December wrap up. I'm going to do my uh, 2014 wrap up and 2015 goals if I'm going to set any. I'm going to do that in another video. So yeah, November and December wrap up. The month of November I only read one book which was Rose Matter by Stephen King. The link to the review will be in the description box below. In the month of December, I actually did better. I really hit a reading slump as we got towards the end of the year. It was like as, the, as it came time for my vacation, I got excited and I just could not. The ADD kicked in in full force and I just couldn't focus uh, after I finished Rose Matter. So I didn't read anything else in November. And in December, I read one print novel. I listened to an audiobook and a graphic novel. Uh, the print novel was Dreams of Gods and Monsters, which was the final installation in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. And that really helped pull me out, out of my reading slump. I don't know if any of you are have the same uh, issue, but if I'm in a reading slump, a good YA novel will help bring me out of it. And I'm not even I'm not doing a review for the novel. I will say I think the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy is one of my favorite YA trilogies thus far. There are a, quite a few that I still need to read or still want to read, so the jury is still out on that. But to date, that by far is that is my favorite so far and the final book was a great close and I thought that I was going to get a little annoyed with it with some of the characters or get tired of the story that did not happen at all I thoroughly enjoyed it um, I also on audiobook I listened to Ink Spell which is the second book in the Ink Heart trilogy I did not enjoy it the ink, I listened to Ink Heart a couple of years ago uh, as an audiobook and I really, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I totally understood why it got the hype that it did. I, have, I haven't watched the movie yet. I kind of wanted to finish the trilogy before I watched the movie. However, the uh, narrator for the audiobook for Ink Spell was so annoying to me. It was, I guess it was supposed to be a dramatic telling or a dramatic reading and the voices that he chose to give to the characters coming from not having had that in the previous novel and it just read so smoothly and so well. The voices that he chose and the way that it was read, I just, I didn't enjoy it at all. It may be something that would be perfect for a middle grade reader uh, who was listening to an audiobook, but as a grown ass chick, it just, it did not flow well with me. Some of the characters that I really enjoyed, I didn't like because of, I, I, I don't know. And I don't know if it was just because of the story, the, um, the changes in the story, uh, or if it was because of the narration. But at this point, I don't care what happens in Ink Death. I'm not going to be, I'll pop, I won't say definitely not, but if I decide to read it, it's going to be way, way down the line. And then I read Saga Volume 4, which was great. I have nothing else to say for that. It was freaking awesome. I It was worth the wait. And what I think I'm going to do is read 1 through 4 back to back to back so that I can just have that whole story uh, up to this point together, but I really enjoyed 
talk about you before. There are some things that happen, some twists that take place, and it's like, wait, hold on. And then you get to the end, it's like, really? That's where you're going to leave us? And if anyone knows when Volume 5 is coming out, put it in the comments below, because I want it now, but I know I have to wait. So, that uh, is it. For my wrap up, I think this might actually be a short wrap up for two months. Awesome. I have new subscribers who subscribed to my channel when nothing was being uploaded. Hello. Thank you for joining and I will see you much more often in the future. You all have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.